All right, quick little update this morning. Uh, the Nottingham Ale Yeast, that one's fermenting really nicely. Uh, the Superbug, yeah, it looks like it's pushing down a little bit on the, the water and the airlock, but I haven't seen any activity. And our traditional, looks like there was a little bit of airlock activity, but I haven't seen it chug at all, so... Uh, this is the next day, is, well, we'll say 12 hours since I pitched all the yeast, if you will. So, um, yeah, these two, not entirely too sure how they're looking, but my battery's almost dead, so gotta go. Alright, we're back. Oh, we got some interesting developments. Let's see, this is the end of day two, because uh, I brewed this Saturday. Sunday was the last clip, and this is Monday evening. The Nottingham Ale Yeast is still chugging away. It's being a trooper. But I would have thought the traditional, where we were feeding it every day, and it seemed to have a little more carbon dioxide than the Superbug, it's had a little bit of activity, not much. There's a few carbon dioxide bubbles on the top. But, uh, oh, look at the super bug. Go, buddy, go. So, the airlock activity isn't as much on the super bug. I think the yeast is really just starting to ramp up. So, this experiment's starting to get interesting. But, one thing we can see for sure, Nottingham L yeast is definitely a yeast to go. Hey everybody, we're back. Alright, it's Tuesday. So, day three. Man, I know my math is bad sometimes, but... Well, the Nottingham Ale Yeast is chugging along quite nicely. And Why is it look like I'm using a headlamp? Well, we're having a nor'easter and... This is incredibly rare for us to lose power because we're on the same grid as a transfer station. But, uh, oh, the snow is just insane out there. The winds are hitting 110 kilometers an hour. And uh, I just had to share this because, um, as we can see, my super bug's doing really good too. Here's my finger head in the wrong spot. But look who's late coming to the party. The traditional is starting to uh, to get a bit of a carousing, so, all right. The yeasties are coming. Um, I suppose I could have used a, a yeast nutrient um, in these, and what I, I was thinking about putting a couple of raisins in. That might explain um, the delay in the yeast, um, you know, getting as active as it is, but, um, hey, who knows, future experiment, maybe see what the difference is using raisins versus maybe, oh, hey, good experiment, what's the difference between using raisins and, say, yeast nutrient that, uh, you know, we're just going to scoop out of a package, and see what kind of difference that makes, but, anyways, yeah, so, we're, uh, all three of them are now fermenting. Um, I think the, uh, the Nottingham Ale Yeast is, uh, just about finishing up, but, yeah, it's still pretty cloudy. Anyways, uh, I think this is going to be one hell of a long video, but, hey, maybe just the fermentation will be a video on its own. Who knows? Anyways, cheers. Hey, YouTubers. All right, we're back. This is Thursday. I didn't film Wednesday. Um, I didn't see there was much of a change between any of them. Uh, but here we are Thursday. I'm actually getting really good um, bubble action out of the Superbug. Um, and it's got, uh, it had a pretty good Krausen ring, as you can see. it come up to here. It's come down a little bit. But uh, <laughs> right on Superbug. The Nottingham is, uh, it's just finishing up. Uh, you can see it. It had a pretty good krausen going there. Uh, it's still quite a, a light cloudy yellow, so I figure in a few more days that'll probably clear out. It's also kind of cool in this room. 
uh, in the brewery. I don't have any heat on in here. And, well, it's quite nice out. And it's 20 degrees on those. That's probably why they're chugging so good right now. The last few days it's been kind of cold. Or uh, We've had three nor'easters blow through here. I'm in Nova Scotia, uh, if you're just new to my channel. So that's been uh, that's been a real interesting week, but I, I was thinking temperature might play a role in this where the room where the room has been cool, but um, the traditional uh, it's starting to get a little Krausen ring. I'm starting to get a little some bubbles uh, being left over in the uh, airlock. So this is going good. Um, I was actually kind of thinking of putting my brewing belt just around the two. Uh, um, demijohns but uh, since they're seem to be going okay there's nothing wrong with the uh, a colder fermentation hey everybody it's Tuesday March 20th um, so it's been over a week the Nottingham ale yeast here's my finger um, it's still bubbling but uh, I think fermentation is pretty much done now it's starting to clear out uh, the superbug uh, that's chugging away quite nicely, and so is the traditional. My battery's almost dead on on my video camera. I just came in to get a beer. I got home from work, and um, I thought, gee whiz, you know, I should update the fermentation. Um, everything's going along pretty good, so, yeah. Hey, folks, TGIF. <laughs> it's Friday, March 23rd. Uh, the Nottingham L yeast is, I'm going to say, is done fermenting. Actually, I'm going to say all three are done fermenting, um, which is pretty nice. You can actually see they're starting to uh, to clear up a little bit. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to put these in secondary and let them age just a little more, maybe clear them out a little more. Um, <clears throat> And I've also been thinking too, um, I had a really low gravity and I actually wanted to have it a little higher than that. So I was kind of thinking I might give it a secondary fermentation. So add another, I don't know, half a cup of brown sugar in each. Maybe throw a couple of raisins in each for a little yeast nutrient. Something I've just considering on the fly while I'm looking at these, thinking, hmm, I can't wait to get into them. Uh, or I could just leave them low alcohol. Gee whiz. Uh, well, we'll have to figure out what the next step is going to be. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I haven't put too much thought into the next step. Uh, but they're clearing out really nice, so... Like I mentioned, I'm uh, so far I'm pretty impressed, and well, my mouth's starting to water just thinking about this one. All right, here we are, bottling day. Yay! Nobody says yay, but I just got red ale, and just poured so that it'll help me get through this terrible time. Uh, let's see, nice color. It's nothing special, it's just a red ale extract kit. Smells like beer. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so today we're going to bottle using Grosh bottles. Um, I did the math, it's a little over eight bottles um, for each one of these experiments. So I'm just doing eight bottles and I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to do the Nottingham L yeast first. We're going to do a hydrometer test. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to add more brown sugar. Uh, I didn't. Um, it was kind of disappointing that it was such, this is going to be such a low alcohol, but I figured, you know what, most of my beers, ales that I make, you know, wine coolers, which I'm going to put on a wash today, unrelated to the ginger beer. Um, and if you haven't seen any of my wine cooler videos, uh, check out my channel. I have some uh, some pretty easy way to make uh, wine coolers. So 
self-plug. I digress. <laughs> so, uh, I figured low alcohol. Why not? Just uh, dare to be different. So, I'm going to get these all bottled up. I haven't figured out how I'm going to label the Grosh bottles yet, but hey, who knows? But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll show a whole lot of me bottling. I mean, how exciting is it to see me stand there holding a wand, sticking it into a bottle? So, um, I guess part three is going to be the tasting. So, uh -huh. stay tuned for that. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks for tuning in, because if you didn't, I wouldn't be making these videos and having such a great time. So, uh, cheers to all of you. Cheers to my new subscribers. Thanks for joining in. Um, I pretty much post whatever, you know, I think happens to come to mind that might be interesting that's home brewing related, cooking related, mechanic related, life in general related. Hey. So, if you like what you see, say hey in the comments below and um, until next time, be happy.